everyone, and welcome to Kernel of Wisdom. I'm Joelle, and today we are completing our conversation on the seven attitudes of mindfulness by talking about letting go. When we meditate, we might start to notice that we tend to try and prolong our positive experiences and get rid of our negative ones as quickly as possible. Now there are some times it might make sense to try and hold on to a positive experience. We might hold on to a loved one to show them how much we care. Or we might hold on to a hope or a dream and by committing to it, it becomes a reality. And it's the same with negative experiences. To a point, it might make sense to avoid going to a party that we don't want to go to, or to avoid associating with someone who bullies us, or to avoid a food that makes us feel sick. But the real problem comes in when we get too attached to positive experiences or too averse to negative experiences. When we're too attached, we have trouble accepting the impermanence and change that's part of life. When we're too averse, we don't try new things or give people a second chance, or we shut ourselves off from all the amazing possibilities that life has to offer just so that we don't risk getting hurt. You see, the problem with holding on too tightly either way is that it doesn't serve us anymore. So how do you let go? Well, through all the attitudes we've already discussed. We need to recognize when something doesn't serve us anymore. We can use discernment and description. We need to surrender to what we actually need in the moment, which takes trust, acceptance, and non-striving. We also need to be able to accept that negative experiences are part of the bigger picture, and we need to be patient with them. And finally, we need to be open to new positive experiences coming our way too, which takes a beginner's mind, more acceptance, and perhaps some more patience. Letting go is about being in the moment. It's about loving and appreciating the way things are right now, about surrendering to life. We all know what letting go feels like. We just need to have enough courage and openness to give it a try. It doesn't mean that the people, experiences, or things in your life mean any less. It's just about recognizing that impermanence as a part of life and living without attachment as best as you can. Well, I hope that helps to explain the concept of letting go. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a note or leave them in the comment box below. Do not forget to subscribe for more mindful videos from Kernel of Wisdom. And otherwise, have a great day and happy meditating. Bye.